Hi, I'm Nancy, Pampered with Diamonds. Today is August 28th, and yesterday I finished Bountiful Voyage on August 27th. I did a Facebook post that said, <laughs> I started Bountiful Voyage on June 36th. Yep. That's what I put, and I didn't correct it because people were commenting, you know, what calendar are you using? Um, how, you have 36 days in June. So if I corrected it, then those comments would not make any sense. So I left it there. So I gave a friend of mine a hard time about pointing that out, but that's what I did. So today, I'm kidding down Bountiful Voyage. This was my first square diamond kit by Diamond Art Club. So I wanted to have a stash. So over here is my squares and they're in baggies, 66 colors. I've already started bagging them up because I didn't want to bore you with bagging all my diamonds. My container here is Diamond Art Club Diamonds. My round drills are in here. These are round Diamond Art Clubs. And now I'm going to put my squares in the baggies in here. For right now, we'll see how it works. We're gonna go with it. So I am on number 64. So this is, I put Diamond Art Club, and then I put Z7391. And I put this on the bag. And then I take this and I put it in my logbook. And I'll go over that when I am done. I know you saw some drills in there and I'll explain what those are. They are not trash drills. So I'm going to take out the fabric sheet because it's kind of no longer working. It's been in there since June 36th, apparently. So I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put that right there because that is the Z. Now I can use those for something else. And I'm getting ready to kit up um, my mystery Randall Spangler. So this one is, yeah, I can't walk and chew gum, guys. So 743, put that on a baggie. So let me just focus on this, take that off, put that here. And then, I also think I'm coming down with something, guys. Yeah, so I wanna try to get two or three videos out before I start sounding like a grumpy old lady because when I'm sick, I'm all clogged up and I don't sound like a woman anymore. I sound like a grumpy old woman, grumpy old hag. So, and my voice won't be soothing Diamonds and Thoughts likes to hear me talk. So let's see if she still likes to hear me talk with my cold. Okay. Z3854. Put that on the baggie. And this is the last drill. Goes there. And this is my very first um, square licensed canvas. I have done 
the diamond art rainbow rose, singular. It's one rose. It's a very small picture. And I gave it to my neighbor across the street. She was kind of down, and it cheered her up. So I put a little masking tape, uh, washi tape frame around, around it, and she was very happy about that. So this one is going to be for trash. I don't know why I'm saving trash, but I've seen other people do it. So I guess I can compare to other paintings when it comes to trash. Well, we can't get those out, so they'll stay there because they're trash anyway. And of course, I didn't bring tape in here, but here's the trash again. Really horrible drills. Okay. What do I put in my logbook, you ask? Don't quit your daydream. I'm living my daydream right now. Okay. Okay. My diamond art journey. It says, I started in January 2024 during a snowstorm and being stuck indoors for eight days. This was my stay in Tennessee for three months. My completed canvases are now... 90% of these are budget friendlies. So these are the titles I gave them. And you can watch them in my first video called My Journey. Okay. American Bulldog, Hummingbird, which is a Diamond Dots, Parrot Portrait, which was a Diamond Dot, Butterfly, a Flower Canvas, Sea Creatures, Christmas Cardinals, Blue Flowers, Red Christmas Pickup Truck, Rainbow Rose Diamond Art Club, a Pokemon Canvas, Fruit Popsicle by Make Market, a Paris painting, and Sunflower with Mountains. These are the budget friendly, and now we go on to my license. Now I did the Rainbow Rose before, before um, I came up with this idea. So this is my official first one. So you guys get to see my first logbook post. So the small sticker I have the title and the artist, where I purchased it, and it's stated again right here on this sticker and a picture of it. This bag contains two of each drills, actual drills, that was used in Bountiful Voyage. So I'm going to hang this picture in a frame with a piece of glass. So drills, probably 99% guaranteed the drills are not going to pop off. And I know it's guaranteed from Diamond Art Club, but if I don't need to bother them, I won't. So I have spares right here. And if a drill falls off before I get it framed, say a plus sign symbol is on the canvas. I can find the plus sign here, find out that it's going to be a yellow. I can pull some yellows out of there and compare it to that, and then I'll be able to put it on the canvas. So I put all my stickers down here. I'm going to go over them with non-yellowing tape so that they don't disappear on me because some of them are curling up, as you can see. But most of them are, are laying, laying flat. We don't really need the one, two, three, because these numbers just tell you how many drills were actually in the, how many different colors were actually in the canvas. On the back side is my larger picture. So I am aware that we will no longer have this picture, but a lot of my canvases have that picture. So there are a few that don't. 
but um, I will have the big picture on one page and then I'll put everything on the next. But I didn't want to waste this sticker, so I just put it there because it gave a bigger picture. So I just wanted you to know what I did and I'm going to tape the trash drills right here so that I know either there I don't have anywhere else to put it so it will go there I'll probably move this sticker down here and then tape it sideways so that's how I'm going to do my my logbook. So, if any of you have any suggestions or you like my logbook idea, comment. Tell me. Do do any of you save your um, save spare drills um, for the particular canvas? So let me know if the drill thing is a me thing or if someone else does it. I can't remember if I've seen anybody do that. I know people write notes about the picture, but I haven't seen anyone put drills, but I'm sure someone out there does. So let me know what you think of my logbook idea. And let's see. To put them in here, I'm going to put them like you, the special drills at the end. So that's these here, the fairy dust and the ABs. So they're going to go there. And then I'm just going to put them in number order the best that I can because they're probably only going to be used um, for if I'm missing any drills. So, let's see. Come on, stay up. Okay. Let's see. The next bunch. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Got these here. And it'll close because I've tested it already. Well, they're kind of in order, guys. Kind of. Okay. So, again, squares, rounds. So there you have it, how I'm going to store my square Diamond Art Club drills. And I have a separate container for um, Diamond Dot drills. So that's how I do it. So don't forget, like and subscribe, and please leave comments. Leave comments. I love to talk to everybody. All right. Have a good night. Bye.